High school state track and field meet comes to UT this weekend, next weekend. One regional champion relay team won't be there. Fox 7's Greg Kerr is here with more on how this team was penalized for what appears to be religious expression. Greg. Well, the Columbus High School beat a relay team won by a good margin in last week's regional meet, but in the end it lost when the meet judge ruled the team's anchor leg showed excessive celebration as he crossed the tape when he pointed toward the sky. Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott caught wind of this and tweeted, Disgraceful, winning track team disqualified for praising God. Well, to borrow a phrase, not so fast. There is no National Federation rule that has anything against um, a sign of religious expression. Certainly the UIL does not have any such rule. Uh, this was a judgment call by a meet referee who made the decision in his opinion that this was an unsporting act. Jamie Harrison is UIL Deputy Director. He told me the UIL hasn't seen any video of the so-called unsporting conduct by the Columbus High athlete. Religious expression or not, the UIL had nothing to do with this decision. Whether or not it's a ball just on the outside or a strike just that just barely hits the corner of the plate, those are all up for interpretation. They're all judgment calls. It's the same thing here. Although the track athlete at the center of this hasn't spoken publicly, his gesture, religious or not, has set off a firestorm of controversy. And if it was indeed a religious interpretation, Texas Values wants to be involved. How devastating for a high school track athlete, obviously a star athlete, a member of a team, to be punished for an expression of his religious faith. Pointing to the sky was excessive celebration. Um, that seems like actually an excessive overreach of government restricting this student's religious freedom. Now, Jamie Harrison told me the UIL has received numerous calls about this and none positive. He's tried to convince them it's not a UIL rule or a National Federation track rule. The call was made by a track judge not employed by the UIL. So as it stands, Columbus's track team cannot challenge the ruling and won't be making the trip to Austin next week.